because preachers cannot talk about things they don't do, which is a lot of what is written in the Bible as far as things they don't do and are totally limited to what they can talk about. Actually, preachers can talk about very little that is in the Bible because they have limited themselves to what they're willing to do. In other words, if I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to keep the dietary laws. I'm not going to tithe. I'm not going to keep God's Sabbath. I'm not going to do anything. Well, how do you preach about things you don't do? You can't. And that's why you don't hear about it in church. You see, there are three idols you don't mess with when it comes to religious people. And I know this from experience. Three idols. Okay, that's money God, belly God, and time God. Money God is when you start talking about tithing, you know, giving God 10%. You don't talk about that because, I mean, it's a hated doctrine. It's a hated teaching. You're not going to tell me I got to give money to God. I'm not going to do it. I wouldn't do it. My life depended on it. You'll find out differently one day. But, but you know, and belly God, you're not going to tell me what I can and cannot eat. I'll eat anything I want to eat. All right, you don't, you, don't, you don't harp on those things, you know. Time, God. You're not going to tell me how to spend my time. I don't have enough time as it is, and you don't. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, your time may be up before you know it. But you're not going to tell me how to spend my time. You're not going to tell me I need to keep the Sabbath day. I'll spend my time exactly like I want to. Three idols you don't mess with when it comes to religious people. Money God, belly God, time God. You know, there are, this is amazing, there are atheists that actually know a lot about the Bible. There are religious people that actually know a lot about the Bible. But listen, until you are willing to do what the Word of God says, you're never going to know God. You're never going to believe in Him. You're never going to have a conviction, okay? It, you know, you, you, you're just not. Until you are willing to do what it says, what that book says, you will never really know God. I didn't say you couldn't go to church, you couldn't sing, you couldn't raise your hand and praise the Lord. I didn't say you couldn't pray. I'm just saying, until you're willing to do what God said, that book says, you'll never know God. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.